guys wow I'm down at Lake Ontario this morning and the ice buildup is incredible I don't think I've ever seen it so thick there are all these <laughs> incredible just snow and ice uh, I don't even know what to call them they're not icebergs but wow I'm not going very far out I do have my ice cleats on but I can't tell exactly where all of this is likely to break off and the last thing I want is to be on a floating iceberg on Lake Ontario or even worse in the water wow it's gorgeous though it's absolutely beautiful So I'm at this one spot where there's this really neat chunk of snow with icicles dripping down from it and I would love to capture it. So I'm going to get out my tripod and see what I can do here. I would love to go up further onto the ice, but that is not going to happen. I do not need that <laughs> cracking off on me. So, all right, I have my camera set up here and I am going for not just short exposure, but a long exposure as well, because the, the water is just so glassy and smooth and I would love to just even emphasize that just a bit more. However, the water is also slowly moving up and down at the bottom of the icicles and if I do a really long exposure I'm not sure if it's going to actually get rid of that detail in the icicles that I so love so I'm going to do both and see which I prefer I have on the Nisi 10 stop and oh, sorry 7 stop ND filter and it's on a it's with a polarizer as well and yeah, it's giving me about eight seconds at the longest. It's still quite a bright day with all the snow and everything too. It's gonna to be even brighter. And that's at ISO 50 and F16. However, I'm going to be doing this at F13, F11 as well. I just wanna make sure that the foreground is not unpleasantly blurry. And I may actually just take two different ones and blend them. I'm not sure yet.
There are a large number of gorgeous compositions here, but there's no way I'm going for a polar bear swim today. <laughs> So I'm going to walk along here and see if there are any other safe vantage points for me to capture another iceberg. <laughs> desolate. I love it. You would never know that the city is right there. The final hour before we let it go to rest And in our story And the story otherworldly too I love it <laughs> it's like an alien planet landscape so I've still got on the seven stop neutral density and the graduated neutral density filter because there's interest in the sky now and I would love to just pull that out I don't want it to be too bright and that you can't see any of the details So a three stop graduated neutral density filter and then a seven stop neutral density filter underneath. How for the better, at least that's what they say. And now it's over. And now it's over. That's it. Thanks guys for coming along. Next time, I am planning to show you what's in my bag and why. So not just a what's in my bag, but why is it in my bag and how do I pack it? So <laughs> stay tuned for that. And I hope that you're all keeping warm and that you have some beautiful landscapes to look at like I've been blessed with today. <sighs> and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. <laughs>